Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I will be reviewing these two Monster High dolls. They finally came to Ireland after months, so I'm very excited to open these. And sorry for disappearing for a few months. Um, school has made me really busy and I just haven't been able to make videos, so. So the two dolls we have here is Frankie and Cleo. I don't know about you guys, but I love the new redesigns of these two characters. I love the way they made Frankie non-binary now. It, it just fits so perfectly, it makes so much sense. And Cleo, as always, she looks like a queen. I'm not gonna stay too long on the boxes, we're just gonna briefly look over them because I know these dolls have been out for ages and you guys probably know every single detail about them anyway. So for Frankie's box, it's completely plastic in the front, which I'm not a fan of. We have the artwork with Frankie's name and I don't like this artwork, but you know, <laughs> And more artwork, yay! And then there's the gang back there. For Cleo's box, it's pretty much the same thing. Completely plastic, which I hate. Some artwork. The thing that confuses me about Cleo's artwork is that it's nothing like the actual doll. Like, huh? You see that? She's wearing a dress and she's not. So, that's weird. And let's just... I guess let's just jump straight into unboxing them. And here they are in all their glory. They come with a lot of accessories, I've noticed. By the way, these aren't their stands, they're just rainbow high stands. These dolls don't come with stands, which I think is really stupid. So I'm gonna go over Cleo's accessories first. She comes with um, this really cool jacket with these frills. It kind of gives me cowboy vibes. Oh, and the clothes also come with these little coat hangers. They're cute, but why did they make them out of cardboard, you know? Here are some sunglasses for Cleo. Now, mine has like a little defect there, but to be honest, I don't really care because I'm never gonna be putting these on her. This on the other hand is really cute. It's like um, a bag with beetles and it actually opens if I can get it. Please. Okay, <laughs> it actually opens and it's pretty roomy in there. And the beetles actually can pop out and there's like mummy wrap. I really like this bag. Next is this um, mummy wrap, because it's, it's, it's a mummy wrap. Uh, probably one of my favorite accessories. It's a little sarcophagus, that, like, that's adorable. The cup is wrapped in like wraps and you can see like a little figure of um, those dogs. And on top is the cutest focus, please. Focus. The cutest um, little dog. I forget their names. Um, comment below if you know, cause I cannot remember. And this also like comes off. Is like a little makeup box. It's in the shape of a diamond and it's like an emerald color. And this, it does open if I get, oh geez. <laughs> Dude. It open finally. It's just, it's just this stupid little makeup box. I'm kind of scared to close this because I'll probably never get it open again. Next is this really cute phone. This is probably my favorite phone case out of all of the dolls. And last accessory is this cute dog. His name is Tut. But anyway, yeah, there's Tut. I'm doing these accessories together because they kind of go together. Here's a, it's like a photo. It's like a camera in a bag, which I think is really cool. 
and it actually has an opening there which you can put these accessories that come with it some little polaroids that says boo york on it and you can see claudine and cleo it's garris and it has a uh, claudine frankie and draculaura next is this just random piece of pizza in the shape of a lightning bolt next is frankie's phone frankie's phone is like probably one of my least favorites just because the case is so basic next is frankie's glasses which i would never be putting on them because no why okay anyway next once again this accessory i really like it's a bag you can open it there and there's actually loads of space in there what i really like about this is it has a key ring on it that you can actually remove okay this kind of jacket i actually like this a lot i like the designs if they actually sold <laughs> a jacket like this i'd probably buy it in real life last accessory is watsy i really love watsy even though he's like really cutesy and that doesn't fit monster high at all <laughs> the only thing i wish they played more with is the fact that watsy isn't a dog but watsy does look like a dog they could have played so much more with this concept and i think they just they missed it ignoring all of his flaws i love watsy so i will be doing cleo first so we'll start with her headpiece it's like gold i like it i like the painted details anyway so she has some of her hair tied up here in a small pony she doesn't have bangs this time like g1 or 2 and i don't hate it i actually like it a lot so her eyebrows are kind of a brownie grayish kind of color makeup is probably my favorite of um wave one of g4 g4 g3 just because it's so out there like monster high is meant to be i love the egyptian style makeup and if you notice there she has a uh, diamond shaped eye shines in her eyes that's a trait that's in all of the new g3 dolls and i absolutely love it their eye shines are unique to their character the last part of her makeup to focus on is her beautiful lips i just love the gold ring around it it, it just brings the whole look together i think okay moving down to her dress we'll start firstly with her beautiful neck piece i love the detail and i love how it's all colored oh and also if you guys didn't know already um cleo and all the rest of g3 excluding the budget line has waist articulation i'll take her out of the stand so you can see better you almost never see that for regular playline dolls so it, it was just such a great surprise when we first found that out i just love this dress i love the mummy wrap um sleeves leo has mummy wrap molded onto her hands and her left knee or left lower leg the pattern goes all the way around which you love to see cleo's uh shoes for me i i they're okay like they're just shoes nothing more nothing less and i forgot to mention also cleo's body type is actually curvy so she has thicker legs and a smaller waist which i think is really cool here is frankie in all their glory and frankie is actually taller than the other ghouls i'll show a comparison with that with one of my g1 frankies and we can see the difference in height so looking at frankie's hair similar to cleo's uh frankie's hair is also tied up in the front and frankie also has these two cute lightning bolt hair clips frankie also has some green lightning bolt earrings and if you can see uh the stud is a bolt so focusing on frankie's makeup so as you can see frankie has lightning bolt shines in their eyes and frankie also has a uh, eyebrow piercing and i really love that but i don't understand why they didn't just give them an actual eyebrow piercing like that one character from g1 that i forget the name of i'll put a picture up um anyway anyway i love frankie's eye makeup because it's purple and yellow and it reminds me a lot of the non-binary flag which again just fits perfectly because frankie is non-binary moving on to the clothes and accessories um frankie actually only has one accessory in the clothes department and that is this belt with their name on it okay sorry for the um sudden change in camera my phone decided to not work so we're going to be using my big clunky ipad now to finish off this review for frankie's outfit they're wearing a vest 
a under top and a skirt and I love the colour combo. I think Frankie's dress is probably my favourite part of their outfit. It's just so detailed and I love the pattern. Something different in this generation is that Frankie actually has a prosthetic leg now and I absolutely love that. I'm going to take their left shoe off so we can get a better look at their prosthetic leg. Okay, now we can get a better look at their leg. As you can see, it's um, completely sculpted with detail. Um, you can see even here, there's like a plug <laughs> and I love that. There's some more detailing back here. I just love their um, prosthetic leg. Like, it's, it's just so cool with all the detail it has. Frankie wears big platform boots, which accentuate their height even more. Pretty cool. Pretty decent, I guess. Not very monster high, but you know. So here we have beautiful uh, G1 Frankie. She's from uh, G or Wave 2. And by the way, I will be using she, her pronouns for uh, G1 Frankie because that is what she used in G1. Um, I will continue to call G3 Frankie with they, them pronouns. So here they both are. It's actually really hard <laughs> to film um, dolls holding them as well. But I'll try my best. As you can see, even though Frankie is taller, not by that much. I'm just gonna do some comparisons in hand sizes as well. There we go. There's the comparison in hand size. Um, it's not that noticeable, but it kinda is. G3 just feels sturdier because, you know, if you collected G1, you'd know that uh, the, the, the dolls always were always kind of flimsy and they'd always break pretty easily. So it's nice to have some, you know, sturdy dolls. And that about wraps up my video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really enjoyed unboxing these dolls for you. I can't wait to put them in my collection. I've been waiting months for these to arrive in Ireland and I'm just so happy to have them now. Um, I hope you have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video, which hopefully won't be too long. Um, hopefully not months and months away, um, but I can't promise anything. So thanks so much for watching again, guys, and I will see you later. Bye!